I have found my new favorite hopper timer and of course I figured I would share it with you guys. Hello everybody and welcome back to Mind Tech with me Carburetor. Today we are going to be looking at the hopper timer but look at all my friends who are hanging around. I got pigs, I got horses, I got cows. It's one of the things I love about this classic flat terrain is you get stuff like this, which I absolutely love. But this is the new hopper timer. Now, I did not make this. I'm not saying I made this in any way. I have no idea who made this. However, the person who introduced me to it was Steel Toad. Steel Toad has a huge gold farm on Exumus LPMT series, and this is the timer he uses to basically control the uh, the zombie pigment being aggro at snowmen which causes them to flush out a lot faster and honestly looking at this thing I'm surprised and I have never seen this before I had no idea what this was if <laughs> I I'm surprised I never even thought about something like this before it is just it's beautiful almost this is almost a beautiful design and yes I do mean it that much um, all you need is two redstone torches, four hoppers, four comparators, and a couple of miscellaneous solid blocks. I'll walk you through how I make it right quick. I start with the two and I put the two redstone torches right on it. I put two comparators right into it, drop the two comparators down. I then put the hoppers in, facing into each other. I then put another two hoppers in right here, take the comparator output from them, go into like that. Then I take, I put one object in there and then take and put however many you want up here and it that's it. It is so easy to make. I'm surprised I've never seen this before because this is truly spectacular. It is so compact and it's so much better than having like the bulky pistons and the slime and the slime blocks and whatnot. And here's the thing, when you really consider it, it's not that expensive. When you consider that the classic um, redstone timer has still has hoppers in it it still has comparators in it it still ha you can still use redstone torches for it I'm just setting it up here for you guys <laughs> since I know how to make it so much and that's basically the other one that everybody loves to use. Now, to tell the truth, if I needed a one quick pulse timer, I would probably choose this one. However, you could very easily do that with this one as well. If you take an observer, put it out, and you have it set, it observes one of these one of these redstone torches. Every single time it senses it move, it'll put out a pulse whereas this one will only blink like that and only put out a pulse which I can show you right here I guess it didn't need to be that far out whereas that one will do it about half the time this will do it half the time this will do it t literally twice as much as the other one why did I break that like that so you know there are still advantages to this plus if I had to make an extended one like I made the extended ethos hopper clock which is what this is where it would run for like 20 minutes before it would shift over by putting and you guys are really getting your bang for the buck out of this episode by doing something like this it would extend it by like 20 minutes you know that's one of the one of the upsides of this one also is the fact that it's a little bit easier to do that with with this one it'd be a little bit more difficult it could be done but it'd be a little bit more difficult but anyway I just I wanted to show this to you guys uh, I have one more quick clip that I just want to show you guys so we are in my creeper farm which also doubles as a slime farm and a spider farm and you'll notice I recently extended it I was getting really sick of the glass roof so I was going to be putting solid blocks on there well, if you put solid blocks on there, it kind of shoots down the entire purpose of having a glass roof. 
because the point of the glass roof is to have a little bit of sky access and apparently that has something to do with like the spawning algorithm or whatnot so I just went okay I'm just bringing it all the way up to roof level so you literally see <laughs> it's at it's at grass level but in doing so I had to destroy the uh, I had to destroy the the clock that was farming it so I instead went to this system and it is just so much more compact it's so much easier it's so much better in my opinion I, I have nothing bad to say about it it's not any taller than the other one it's a little bit wider than the other one but at the same time it's shorter than the other one so it's kinda like okay which one do you want plus in my opinion it's a lot cheaper and that's basically it. That's all I have to say about it. And I am very, very pleased with this entire system. Now, looking back on this, what I could have done is I literally could have shifted this forward, made it so that when the comparator is powered, it's powering that redstone and save the redstone torch. But it's built and I'm lazy, so I'm not going to end up moving it. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this episode of MindTech. I do want to stress again, this is not my design. I did not design this. I was shown this by Steel Toad. If you guys know who made this, I would love to know. Because I've looked on YouTube, and most of the timers that I'm finding on YouTube are the Ethos design, which I've been using before this. But anyway, if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments section. If you guys have any comments, please feel free to leave them. If you guys need to get in contact with me, Facebook or Gmail, which you can find my Gmail in the About page on my YouTube, on my YouTube page. But anyway, I will see you all next week.